Team Contest is scheduled for one fall on the wing of the ring, accompanied by Arn Anderson, the Nature Boy, Ric Flair, and Diamond Dallas Page. Oh, the referee will undoubtedly have his hands full when these two teams collide. That's the look of confidence right there. of these two competitors looks nearly unstoppable. These teams looking to make a mark here in the tag team division. Everyone's ready, and just like that, this tag team match is underway. I don't know about you, but I've really been looking forward to this. I don't know what's going to happen here. And the turnbuckle does the damage. Oh, and he missed that one. God, that's got to hurt. Yeah, you're not doing any damage with swings like that, but keep doing it. The breeze may give him a cold. And Kevin Nash is so tall that I wouldn't be surprised to see his big boot go straight over the top of an opponent's head one of these times. And so what are your thoughts right now on Kevin Nash? Well, luckily, the body hasn't absorbed too much of an attack up to this point. You have to give credit to these great fans in Cleveland. I'm told tickets to this event sold out in record time. Quick pin. Hey, is this it? Uh, it may be. There's the switch. Ow. Ooh. Oh, wait. Nice reverse. Kevin Ash's boot is certainly dangerous, as King mentioned. And when he gets his opponent into the corner and starts driving that gigantic foot into his face, forget it. Yeah, and speaking of corners, Kevin Nash's snake eyes can give you whiplash in a hurry. Scott Hall taking advantage right now. He's seen it up. Here he comes. from Nate. Nicely executed. Oh, out of nowhere. He's simply reminding him that he's here. Good night. Here's the cover. John, between the championship reigns and being a founding member of the Four Horsemen, you'd have to consider Ric Flair to be one of the greatest competitors to ever lace up a pair of boots. 
Without a doubt, Michael, before the Nature Boy even beat Dusty Rhodes for the World Championship in Kansas City, Missouri in 1981, you could just tell he was something special. And now it is show off time. Don't waste time gloating here. Oh! There's the switch. Diamond Dallas Page is in. And now he's back out on the apron. And this is going to leave scars, Diamond Dallas Page. The night in Kansas City that JBL was referring to earlier was the beginning of more than a dozen world championship reigns for Ric Flair. It's pretty amazing when you stop and think about it. Scott Hall turns it around. Ow! Ooh. The shoulders are down! Makes the cover. And a kick out. Uh, the kick out's all that's saving. This match goes on. Oh, this is really something, Cole. I mean, just what is it going to take to keep Hall down? Yet another one for the highlight reel. The shoulders are down. And the shoulders up. And the match continues. I love this. Oh, you can't count Diamond Dallas Page out yet. Diamond Dallas Page takes the upper hand here. That was such a hard fall. That could take all the energy right out of you. I believe you're right, Cole. He may be done. Of course I'm right. For me, while I appreciated Flair's victory over Dusty Rhodes in 1981, it wasn't until he beat Harley Race for the World Championship at Starcade 83 that really solidified him as a legit top-tier superstar. Huh, that might have realigned the spine permanently. Diamond Dallas Page is taking full throttle control currently. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt kicking right here. Great counter. Line. Looks like somebody wants back in this match. Clearly on a mission here. Here's a guy in Scott Hall who was among WWE's elite, but despite that, still jumped to WCW in one of the most shocking moves of all time. You can't blame him, Michael. The man was in demand, and WCW is willing to give him far more money to work far fewer times. Scott Hall would have been crazy to pass that up. Well, this is a familiar sight. Diamond Dallas Page picking up the pace here and really starting to get himself going. Anything can happen when a fighter like DDP has momentum behind him and a live target. Watch out. How much damage did that do? A lot from the looks of it. An Intercontinental Champion prior to jumping to WCW, Scott Hall can now add WCW Tag Team Champion to his resume. Not too shabby if you ask me. This match will have a lot of big moves. One question will be, who will capitalize on those moves the best? And who will capitalize on those moves the earliest? That's important. Oh, wait, nice reversal. This is a level of destruction no one was expecting. No kidding, this is getting ugly. We're looking at complete domination here. I don't think there was ever any doubt that Scott Hall and Kevin Nash would dominate the tag team scene upon their arrival in WCW. I mean, let's face it, they're just that good. Look at him out there, reaching for... Is it enough to put an end to this one? Hey, the shoulders are down! Of course, Cleveland, Ohio is the hometown of the Miz, but we won't hold that against this wonderful crowd tonight. the tag 
And there's the reversal. And he finally gets out of the ring. Hey, the quick reversal there by Diamond Dallas Page. What a display of unmitigated strength. The ring mat's in pain after that one. Yeah, you're right. I think that hurt the ring and him. You know, when I look at Diamond Dallas Page, Michael, I see a man who can do anything he puts his mind to. Let's face it, here's a guy who was continually told he was too old or not good enough or just a manager. But he refused to listen to all that. Instead, he went on to become a world champion. Now that's pretty impressive. It only takes a couple of those to bring his night to an end. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. And into the cover. I like what I'm seeing here from Kevin Nash. He's setting up. King, you talk about Paige's never-say-die attitude, which helped catapult him to the upper echelon of this industry. And it's that same attitude he brings to the ring each and every time he competes. Well, it'll take a minor miracle to come back from this. He's got him down, Cole. Is this it? It could be. Uh-oh. He's in position, ready to strike. Moves like that can upset your opponent more than hurt them. Kevin Nash is on the attack. It is so hard to stop that kind of strength. Neither of these teams appear to be showing any quit here tonight, King. No, and I didn't expect them to either, Cole. These two teams are true professionals. There's a fire burning in the belly of Kevin Nash. And he's in there trying to get something going for his... What a move! What a smart move! The referee getting involved now. Oh, out of nowhere! Somehow, he's kicked it into another gear here tonight. And the ref starts to count. He's setting it up. I don't think there are two teams I'd rather see square off against each other right now. This is amazing. Team War, we most definitely witnessed just that. This was from bell to bell, a clinic in tag team wrestling. Kudos to everyone. I love tag team matches, and that was one of the best I've seen in a while. Sometimes you step into the ring and, well, just refuse to lose. I think that's what we saw here in this match. The arena is still buzzing over that great match.